strip club? What strip club? Uh, the Bear Elegance by the airport, LAX. Oh. And uh, there was this one girl that I was really like uh, infatuated with. She's <laughs> very beautiful, <laughs> real beautiful. And I, for a year, I was just like, oh my God, I was just so infatuated with her. And then, but she had a boyfriend. Yeah. And then uh, her boyfriend and her parted ways. And now she's single at the strip club. And then she was at the DJ booth, like just throwing um, signals and signs. And then she goes, um, yeah, I just broke up with my boyfriend and I'm staying at my best friend's mom's house. Like her mom and dad, her best friend lived with her mom and dad. And I'm like, damn, she goes, can you give me a ride home? I'm like, yeah, oh my God, this girl that I've had uh, <clears throat> feelings for and I felt affectionate feelings yeah. towards her. She wanted a ride home. And so I gave her a ride home and I had a, a 91 Ford Explorer, like the side windows go out like that. Like yeah, those side yeah, windows, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. Sport, sport. It's sport. very important. The sport. sport. No, you remember. <laughs> you don't remember. So she's sitting shotgun. So I drove her home, and we started making out and um, kissing affectionately. And uh, she, we couldn't go inside to uh, procreate. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I wanted to. I was in love with her. I was. I was. No, no. I was in love. She was a stripper. She was a stripper. So. We, uh, if we were going to consummate our relationship, <laughs> is that correct? Yeah, Verbiage? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to, I know you have, have sex. We had to do it in the car. So she sent shotgun. She'd been stripping eight hours though, remember that? Okay. Yeah. And there's no showers at the strip club. Okay. So uh, she had Vans on with no socks. Ooh. You know what Vans smell like with no socks? Yeah. She took her fucking shoes off. We're about to, um, uh, consummate our relationship, God. shotgun, and her feet are kicking. The worst <laughs> feet, the worst. like, like uh, maximum feet odor. Like everybody knows that. When you're like, someone's feet, like what's going on with the feet? Yeah. No socks with Vans on. And she'd been stripping all day in heels. So, and then when I put, I'm like, dude, I liked her so much, I didn't give a fuck. Power through it. Yeah, yeah, power through it. And then I, then I pulled down her panties like that. And then I got a whiff of her genitalia. <laughs> Mind you, she was working and paying, being responsible. Thank God we are. She was, she was, she was paying her bills and being responsible for eight hours. She had, she was contributing to society, paying taxes. Yeah. And um, she was the old. And dude, you type. know, you know, you know how, how like two colors can make a whole new color. You know, like uh, like like blue. And yellow make green. Please. Green is not blue. Green is not Please. yellow. Green is its own Please. thing. But you put Please. them together, and then it's green. And you know how like blue and purple, yeah, and oh, or no, blue and red and make purple. Yeah, 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 yeah blue yeah, and purple. Yeah, yeah. That purple's not blue. Purple's not red. So the combination of her <laughs> genitalia, that certain uh, scent, <laughs> and her feet. of decrepit, uh, decrepitness, say? and her feet. Put together yeah. was a whole new color, dog. That was a new color. I never smelled that color before. It was like if you took a shit on a rotting corpse, it would not smell like a rotting corpse. It would not smell like a piece of shit. It would be a brand new color. It'd be like some like some like orange magenta. It was a new color, dog. So me, because I was so in love with her, I couldn't believe. I just said fuck it, and I got in there, dog. My dick was still hard. Yeah, my dick don't have a nose, right? You're fucking her, gagging. So, so, but, but my head has a nose, so that I, hope, I, hit, I was hitting her missionary like that, and I opened the side window, dude, and I'm hanging over her shoulder, going. I still um, completed. The task of procreative services. You're a soldier, bro. Yes. But you know what? I didn't want. To, I didn't want that to affect our relationship. So the next day she came over. You know those those natural. <laughs> you are you know, so. You know, you know you know the you know the natural remedy books you buy at Whole Foods and like Trader Joe's like nat. There's like a big ass. It's like a Bible of natural remedies, oh. and that you go through and it's like an encyclopedia, oh. and it and it lists all the different ailments. Yeah. And you go to the back oh. and you go to the and you go vaginosis, yeah. and it tells you why a woman would have vaginosis, a, a, a B uh, vitamin deficiency. 
So I sat her down. I love this girl. Yeah. I was in love with her. So I sat her down and I opened up the book. I go, you know, I got this at home. Dude, food. that's a tough uh, talk day two. This is a tough I talk tell day two. I didn't want to lose her. Day two I didn't want to lose her. I didn't want to lose her. Okay. But we had to between, deal with day the issue. Day two, tough talk. Between your pussy and your feet, my dog will stay in the house. You know what? No, seriously. So, so, so I explained to her. There's a girl watching this going, wait, I know that car he's talking. Hey. No, so, so I explained to her that she had, there was nothing wrong with her. She yeah. just had a B vitamin deficiency. And we need to get, dude, she showed up. We went, ended up going out for like a year. She showed up every day to my house with a duffel bag filled with vitamins. She became like a, like a vitamin junkie. Dude. Pussy never smelled, feet never smelled. It was a, I didn't even, I never even brought up the feet. I didn't even bring up the feet. I can't bring up the feet. I didn't even bring up the feet, dog. That's a true story. Something's burning. This episode was brought to you by The Machine.